Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a knife that was provided by QSP to the Apex Passaround Group. And this is the QSP Swordfish in a burlap brown micarta. So for the burlap micarta fans out there, you see they got it nicely, uh, nicely carved at the top and the bottom. Nice little chamfer there. Uh, as you can see, it has a uh, wire clip, which is a deep carry pocket clip. Has a lanyard hole if you like to have a lanyard on there, which is a good idea with a deep pocket carry, I think. Uh, it is reversible, as you can see here. Uh, it is a button lock, and you get the nice little pivot that QSP likes to uh, emboss their pivots. And you have a thumb stud on each side. You got the little QSP logo here. And the blade seal is 14C28N. And you can see a nice uh, black wash finish on this guy. So you get a flipper tab also. And so it does fly right out of there. Look at that blade. I mean, that's a really super nice uh, Warncliffe. I love the uh, swedge going down the front. I think that looks really cool. And of course, that's on uh, on both sides. I mean, super slicey. You have a the button lock, which you guys are either fans of button locks or not, but it seems to be very popular. Flies right out with the thumb studs. Uh, again, you can flick these open with depressing the, uh, the stud, but really when you're trying to do it on camera, it's kind of to keep it all in frame and not hit something, it gets to be a challenge. So I just let it drop. <laughs> It's just easier that way. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just very uh, hand filling. Uh, not uh, not too bad. Very lightweight knife too. This is coming in right at four ounces. You know, so it's uh, very pocketable, very carryable. Uh, not really any problems at all. The 14C28N, the Sandvik stainless. I mean, what can you say? That's That's just good stuff all day long all day long the flipper or i'm sorry the the fidget factor on this knife is right through the roof because you can just sit there and open it and close it and flip it open again and you know so if you're bored and have some place you can do this where it's not going to uh freak out anybody you can sit there and flick this all the time not a problem uh, what we're looking at is a handle that's about four and a half inches. So you have plenty of room, plenty of real estate to grab onto. Uh, very comfortable, not finding any hot spots. The wire clip does not get into the palm of my hand at all. The uh, flipper is not that uh, obtrusive, and it does stick out enough to give you a bit of a guard. Uh, not really enough room to uh, choke up on it here. There is some jimping on top, uh, but not really uh, forward of the uh, flipper is not, uh, not a lot of room. Uh, very nice uh, black wash on the, uh, on the blade. I like black washed blades. They are pretty cool. Uh, if I didn't mention it before, the blade comes in at 3.6 inches, and you're looking at an 8.1 inch overall length. Uh, just really well done, well constructed. Uh, here's your backspacer. QSP does some of the best, I think, fit and finish quality of knives. I just have never had an issue with any of the any of the uh, knives that I've handled from them, or the stuff that they've done OEM work for either. It's just been very uh, very good. Anyways, uh, this one uh, is part of their uh, budget line. I think. Right now they're out of stock. They were selling at uh, Blade HQ for like $70, which is not bad for what you're getting. Burlap micarta and a really good blade. Uh, I think this is a decent work knife. Uh, if you need to uh, have a worn cliff or you prefer a worn cliff, I think you're looking at a really decent uh, knife for that purpose. So I think this is another uh, winner from uh, QSP. Definitely one that uh, if you're interested, 
definitely check that out. Hopefully they'll be restocking these soon. They do have a couple other uh, handle materials and uh, blade uh, options for this as well. So the Swordfish does give you options, but that's what this particular model was, uh, was going for at the time of this video. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for this one. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.